TIFU by telling a girl she needs to see a doctor. This was about three years back and it hit me like a truck while I was watching TV today. I met this girl at a camping event and we hit it off pretty well. I was pretty damn religious at the time and took the whole, no sex before marriage, rule to heart. Dating wasn't allowed in my family until you hit 18 and I was 17 at the time. The reason I'm saying this is to explain why I was dense AF and didn't notice any of the hints. Back to the story. We hit it off at camping and by the end of the trip she asked for my IG to which I replied, I don't use IG. Then she asked for my Snapchat. I don't have Snapchat either. Finally she asked, what do you use? And I told her Facebook. You'd think her going out of her way to add me on a platform she hasn't used in years would be a hint but nope. My dumbass just thought, at least she'll get to know how good Messenger is now. Fast forward about two weeks. We've been talking consistently for a while now and she's been subtly mentioning all these ideal dating spots in the city and all I could reply was, wow. Looks like a great spot. Let me know how it is if you ever go there. Quote. At this point she went for the Hail Mary. She sent me a picture of her thigh pointing out a mole that she hasn't noticed before. I went into diagnosis mode and told her, Google says it could either be a mole or cancer. She laughed thinking that I was joking. I wasn't. And asked if I was free for a video call. I answered the call and there she was. Naked in a fucking towel with the camera zooming into her cleavage. And she says, I noticed a mole right here too, as she points the camera right above her nipple and almost slips the towel. My dumbass responds, hate to break it to you but I ain't a doctor. If you're worried about it you should really have it checked out. The call ended abruptly afterwards and she stopped messaging me after that day for a week. Then she blocked me. I was dumbfounded and thought, if she really hates being my friend that much then she should have. At least had the decency to be upfront about it. Fast forward to today while I was sitting in my place watching some Netflix when out of nowhere. This flashback hit me like a truck carrying years worth of my obliviousness. TL. DR. Fucked up my chance at my first relationship by not reading the signs. Edit. A lot of people are encouraging me to track her down and explain the situation but some things are better left untouched. It's been three years and I don't think either of us are interested anymore. Scientists say the core of a neutron star is one of the densest materials known to man. The only thing denser is this fucking guy. This wasn't a sign, it was a series of increasingly large billboards. Holy cow. Hi yes I'm the US Dodd and would you have some time to come in? We would like to try create our next gen armor. And the thickness of your skulls seems like a good place to start. Cleavage dude. I'm still stuck on, at least she'll get to know how good Messenger is now. At least she'll get to know how good Messenger is now, dude. Dude. One time a girl asked me to, go to sleep, with her and I was like, nah. I'll wait for the game, lol. It happens I guess. Have you considered a career as a harem anime protagonist? At least Jesus was happy? Ma'am, I do my own plumbing. Lol. It's always a trip when something like that hits years later. Really makes you question what the hell else you were oblivious to. Watch out. Captain America can want to make a shield out of your dense ass. Bruh if JFK had a skull like yours he would have survived the assassination. On the one hand, you missed the signs. On the other hand, 
who flirts by pointing out moles on their skin. The burns are savage and well-deserved. But am I the only one who finds the obliviousness of his 17-year-old self adorable? This makes me feel better about not realizing a girl I liked was into me when I was about 13. Not only was she really nice to me, acted like I was funnier than anyone else did and did what passes for flirting at that age. At one point on MSN she sent me a two pictures of her ass in underwear and asked me what I thought. I can't remember how but I somehow managed to convince myself she was testing me. Or it was a joke or she was only doing that because she considered me a friend. I was then confused as to why she stopped wanting to be friends not long after that. I had a pretty rough time in secondary school for a couple have reasons and it would have done. Wonders for my self-confidence if I'd realized at the time. I'm sure nothing lasting would have come from it but she was a really nice girl and it would have been good for me. So it just goes beyond an embarrassing moment for me and actually feels like a fuck up. Reading stories like ops actually make me feel a bit better about something that makes me cringe. Every time I think of it haha. -ha. Luckily by the time I was 17 I wasn't quite so dense. Although still pretty dense. And had managed to scrape together a bit of self-esteem so wasn't making mistakes quite on that. Level. I'm now 30. Have had several serious relationships and a fair few hookups and FWBS situations. But still I die a bit inside whenever I think about this perhaps more than any other single. Relationship fuck up. Cheers op for making me feel not quite as big of an idiot. In my defense. I probably would have missed the signs myself. When I was a teenager who grew up in a religious family. Aside from having autism, I also didn't have a very good opinion of myself for a variety of reasons. I probably couldn't have recognized a girl being interested in me if my life literally depended on it. And to this day, I'm not really sure still if I could recognize it. You definitely fucked that one up. But there is plenty of fish in the sea so don't even lose sleep over it. Bless up. Dude. When I finally realized how hard this one girl was hitting on me in college. I thought I was the biggest dumbass of all time. I stand corrected. I think a lot of us. At your stage in life. Would have missed the early signs. But NTO straight up her showing herself on FaceTime. Boy you were denser than a black hole in that moment. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Eracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.